Hi, this is Marie from Crochet A to Z. Welcome to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please push that subscribe button. And if you have, thank you. I want to thank everyone for being here. And also, please push that like button. It does help with get the algorithms out there so everyone can find this channel. So today I want to show you this real great stitch. It's an easy stitch. Beginner to advanced, you can all do this. And I'm going to go slow like I usually do. I'm visual. I like to be visual in my uh, tutorials so that you can follow along. You can write it down. Uh, you can get some yarn. You can crochet along with me. I use, this is a Premier yarn, one of their Premier yarns. And uh, it's a great yarn. It's uh, a gray color. And I used an H hook. But you can use, and you can see my dog got a hold of my crochet hook. See the little teeth marks on it? My little angel, that's her name. She got a hold of this. So I used an H hook. You can use whatever hook you want, depending on what yarn you're using. You can use a, um, an acrylic yarn. You can use a cotton yarn. You can use a light, lightweight yarn if you wanted to, depending on what you're making with, with this stitch. I used an H hook. I used a four weight yarn. But like I said, you can use whatever you want depending on what you want to make. You can make shawls with this. You can make anything lacy, a top, a cover-up, a baby blanket, a afghan, uh, a bag, a uh, carry bag, a uh, also if you wanted to use this and um, also make the shopping bags, whatever you wanted to do. Let me know what you want to do with this particular stitch. Uh, like I said, it's a great stitch. It is the lace open shell. And here's your little shells. They're right here. And it's just a great stitch for everyone. So let me show you how we get here. First of all, what you have to do is you have to do multiple of six. So you do six plus six plus six until you get to the desired width you want depending on what you're making, whether you're making a scarf, whether you're making an, an afghan, whatever you're making, do the desired width. So you do six plus six plus six, and at the very end, once you've got all that down, you add three more stitches. And now I'm going to show you, and let's get started. So what I'm going to do I'm going to do my slip knot, especially for anyone that has not crocheted before. I go slow. You can write it down. You can follow along and get a your um, crochet hook, whatever you want to do. So now, once I did my slip knot, I'm going to chain 24. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. And 24. Once you do your 24 or whatever the amount is that you need to do to get to whatever you're making, you've got to add one, two, three. These are my chains. They look like these. This is my working chain. And at the very end is my slip knot, not considered a chain. So now after we do that, in the second chain from the hook, one, two, the second chain from the hook, we're going to make a single crochet. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make a single crochet right across. For anyone that's not made single crochets, you have to go into this chain, pull up a loop, 
yarn over, pull through two. Go into the chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And that's what we're going to do right across until you're done. Now I want to mention that once you get this row and the next row done, you're just going to keep repeating the third row over and over. And I'm just going to consider this your first row because it is your first row and it's single crochets right across. And we're going to go to the very end and make our single crochets. And make sure you go, for anybody that's new, you would go in every chain across. My channel is dedicated from beginners to advanced and everyone in between because I want to make crochet fun and accessible to all. So we're going to go right across and then at the very end, and this is what I want to mention, you always make sure that you never drop that end stitch. Many times crocheters sometimes drop that end stitch and that's where you end up having a weird, you know, your sides on even. So now once you do that, you're going to chain one, two, and three. And you're going to do that every time you get to the end and turn your work. So you're going to turn this around. So now what we're going to do after we chain three and turn our work, we're going to skip three stitches. So we're going to, we're going to skip this one. This chain three is considered a double crochet, but we're going to skip this. We're going to skip that one and that one. And into the fourth one, we're going to do three double crochets. So if you've never done a double crochet before, that's the first one. You yarn over, you go into that stitch below, you pull up a loop, you yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Again, we're going to go, you're going to yarn over, you're going to go right back in that stitch, you're going to pull up a loop, you're going to yarn over, you're going to pull through two, you're going to yarn over, and you're going to pull through two. And those are your three double crochets. After you make your three double crochets, you're going to chain one and two. And then you're going to go right back in that stitch and you're going to make three more double crochets. And that's your first lace open shell. Once you do that, you're going to skip one, two, three, four, and five. Skip five stitches, and in that sixth stitch, so again, one, two, three, four, five, in the sixth one, you're going to make three double crochets. After you do that, you're going to chain one and you're going to chain two and you're going to go right back in there and make three more double crochets. And this will be my second shell. This is a great springs uh, 
pattern. This is great for um, summer because it's light. And depending on the yarn that you choose to use, it, it really does with the weight. It means a lot. So whatever you want to make with this, let me know what you're going to make with it. So now we're going to skip one, two, three, four, five. And in the sixth one, again, we're going to make three double crochets. We always chain two in the middle, very important. And then we're going to make three more double crochets right in that same spot. We're going to skip one, two, three, four, five. And in that sixth one again, we're going to put three double crochets, one, two, well, I'm going to just pull out one second because I don't like the way that yarn looked, two, three. It almost looked like the yarn had split. And now I'm going to chain one and two and again, that chain two is very important. And you'll see why when we get to it. Now we're going to do three more double crochets right in this same spot. Now what you're going to find is you have one, two, three, four, four, stitches left. You're going to skip one, two, three, three stitches. And in that fourth stitch, you're going to make, and it's going to be a little bit weird getting in there at first. You're going to make one double crochet. So it's going to look like the same at the beginning as it does in the end. And they look alike. And I'm going to pull in close so you can see what we did. So if you look at this, we did this and we did this row. So now what's going to happen is we're going to, and I, like I said, every time you get to the end, you're going to make a double crochet at the end and you're going to always chain one two and three and you're going to turn your work now this is the row that we repeat over and over again until we're done with whatever it is we're making but then i'm going to show you what i do to finish it off so i go where you made your chain two here's three here three here double crochets and there's your chain two, you're going to make three double crochets. And sorry, I just wanted to show you. This counts as a double crochet. One, two, three, one, two, three, chain two. So we're going to go right in there and we're going to make three double crochets one, two, three. Once we're done with that, we're going to chain one and chain two, and then we're going to make three more double crochets right in that chain two space. One, two, three and I'm going to pull out a little so you can see this so here's a first shell from that from that row and see where we went 
we did this, this is our next row. So this is the row we're gonna repeat over and over again. Once we make our shell here, three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, we're gonna skip into this next chain two space. And we're gonna go right in here and we're gonna make three double crochets. And once again, we're going to chain one, two. We're gonna make three more double crochets right in this chain two space. And this, like I said, um, it's just a great stitch. And it's called again, the lace open shell. And it's open here and open. So that's why you can see why they call it that. So now once we made a shell, we're gonna skip into this next chain two space. And you're gonna repeat this to the very end of whatever your project you're making. You can make a beach cover up, you can make whatever you want. You, like I said, let us know what you're going to make with this. Three more double crochets to finish that shell. And there it is. So now we made our shell. We're gonna to go to the next shell from below and we're gonna make three double crochets in the chain two space. And we're going to chain one and chain two. We always want to do that because we want to have this set up for the next row so we can put our shells in there. So now three more double crochets. And I have videos on how to do double crochets, single crochets. Uh, so please check the playlist because they're all there. And I do right-handed and left-handed so that anybody that wants to learn can. So here it is. Now I'm at the end. So what am I gonna do? I'm going to do a double crochet in this double crochet from below, a chain three space, depending on how it falls. And there's, isn't that great? So there's, again, we repeat this. So we're going to, and I'm going to put it here so you can see this is. So we're going to repeat this. We're going to do chain one, chain two, chain three. And this is our repeat over and over again. We're going to go into this middle of the shell where the chain two space is and make three double crochets. We're going to chain one, chain two, and I'm going to pull out a little more, and we're going to make three more double crochets to finish off that lacy open shell. So now we know we got to jump to the next shell from below where that chain two space is and make another shell. And this is what we repeat over and over again until our project is finished. Chain one, chain two, and then I'll show you what we do. What I do with this particular stitch is I finish it off the way I started. And what I mean by that is all single crochets at the end. I'm going to do this to finish this off and I'll show you what I mean. What 
So next we did that shell we're going to do right here. You can do this at home. You can do this, take this with you, your project, depending on how small or big it is. You can watch a movie and do this because once you get this down, you don't have to really, you just, just go. You just go with it because it's that's how easy the stitch is. You just go with the flow. And then you made, that's your shell. So we're gonna make another shell right here. And this works up very, very quickly. So it's a quick moving pattern. So whatever you're gonna make with it, it's gonna go fast. Afghan, it'll go fast. Like in a nice summer, a spring Afghan, absolutely beautiful with this stitch. If you want to change colors, absolutely can. It'll look beautiful. Now, once you make your last shell, we're going to go right here to the top of that stitch, and we're going to just do a double crochet. Now, if you were to continue, again, you chain three, and continue to work in all of the shells in between the chain two space. If you say, say we're at the end and you're all done and you've finished your project, you're going to chain one. That's it. You're going to turn your work around. In this first stitch, you're not gonna put anything. In the next stitch, you're gonna put a single crochet. And what we're going to do is in every stitch across, we're going to put a single crochet. And this is how I like to end this stitch. It's just, it finishes it off. So although it has that shell pattern on the top, it finishes it off looking like your single crochets from the bottom. So it does give it that nice finished look. And I'll show you, I go right across and I just keep doing a single crochet. This is when you're finished with whatever your project is and now you're done and you wanna just give it a, a, a clean look. It really, you don't have to do this but if you want to, you can. And again, what I do is I single crochet right across. So what I'm saying is I end it the way I started it with single crochets. And I just go right into every stitch, every stitch. And I just go right across. And I want to mention that I did this with this one. So if you look at this one, I'm going to pull in. And I single crocheted right along here. And that was like this end. So my beginning and my end sort of finished the same way. So let me show you again. In every stitch, I single crochet. I'm going to pull out a little. every stitch and I'm I wanted to do a close-up so you could actually see where I'm going every stitch and every double crochet in every chain two I am putting 
a single crochet. And now at this very end, I'm putting at the top of the stitch, I'm putting a single crochet. And I'm done. And this is what how I would finish it. Do you have to do it this way? Absolutely not. You can finish it, leave it just the way you want, but that's what I do. So what you're going to see is I did that row of single crochets at the bottom. I also have them at the top. And that's how I did this one as well. Single crochet at the bottom. Single crochets at the top. And this is your open shell. So it's your lacy open shell. You can use any type of yarn you want, any weight yarn, depending on how, how lacy a look you want to give it. And um, the crochet hook depends on your yarn. So always refer to the guidelines on the yarn that you're using. For the crochet hook that you need. So this is Maria from Crochet A to Z. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial of the lacy open shell or the lace open shell. We'll call it the lace open shell. Again, this is Maria from Crochet A to Z. I hope you have a great day, a great evening. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to push that like button and have a great evening. Thank you so much. Bye-bye and good night. Love you all. Bye-bye.